Hey everyone, Shebim here, and welcome back to some more of the Youth Squad Legends. Right, we're back, we're back, we're back. Um, we've had an interesting start to the season. Not quite as good as we would have hoped, but we are getting there now. Um, we have got a game against Swindus there, who are 23rd. We're currently about 15th, 16th, I think. Um, so let's see how we get on in this one. Um, which team do we want to play in this game? I'm trying to find the team that's probably got the most fitness... We've had a lot of games in such a short period of time recently. It's been quite difficult to keep everyone um, fit and healthy. Let's go for this one, I think. Might be the best one to go for. Um, yeah, just for um, just for fitness and protection of players. It's, it's been a decent start to see. Because we've had so many games in such a short period of time, we have really managed to get the match sharpness up pretty well. Um, be lovely when we get Hilton back, but that's going to be close to Christmas when we get him back. Right, then here we go. We've had, um, what we had? We've had a win, two draws, and a loss so far this season. So we're up on five points. And um, be lovely to get another win. That's really what we need to do is to start getting our form in good ways. And then obviously, when our form is looking good, our players will progress quicker. And then when they progress quicker... They'll get better, and when they get better, their form goes higher. And when their form goes higher, they progress quicker. Then they get better, then their form goes higher. And it's just a it's a nice little circle um, that you really want to get into. But it takes a bit of time to get it up and running by the looks of it. Oh, okay. That was wide. Opportunity by Keane. The young Scotsman. But it's a good start. Showcasing our ability is... Oh, Banks was almost in there. They can... Uh, Banks, I think. Did Banks get top goal scorer last season? It was either Banks or Hilton, one of the two. I think it might have actually been Hilton, to be honest. But Banks was very, very close. Banks had a good start so far this year, though. Scored a few goals. And that was our biggest issue from last season, I think. We're not getting many goals from elsewhere on the pitch. It was all coming from Banks and Hilton. And now with the Hilton injury, it makes things a little bit more complicated for us. Come on, get the ball in the box. Okay, close enough. Somebody do something with it. Come on, Banks. Come on, somebody do something with it. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, so many opportunities. Not enough to put it in the back of the net, though. Right, so I think we are seeing some improvements to some of these players already this season as well. Oh, it's offside. I thought it was a good little turn there as well. Come on, get the ball. Right, here we go. Right, ball comes out. Come on. I saw that run easily. Banks in the middle. Banks. Oh, he's took it too close. Defender. No, he gets it. Morgan Banks with the goal makes it 1 0. On the brink of half time, great time to get a goal. Really good time, and we deserve it based on those um, stats in the first half. We've dominated things, really. Right, so we need to... Sorry, I went completely silent now. I was watching the... I'm, I'm so intently watching the game, I keep going silent, not even realising. Yeah, we need to um, continue on doing well here. It looks like Morgan's is not having a good game, so he'll be one of the players that's going to drop off and we'll bring on... Um, who needs a runaround? Perea, I think. And then we'll bring on you for Hurtado as well. Well, I believe um, Dragomir is about to go out on loan, isn't he, as well? But we do have a really good um, 63 rated CDM in the academy with a 90 plus potential I'm waiting to bring up. Can we make this 2 0 before we make the substitutes? Nope. Can we actually make the substitutes? That's going to be a big question as well in this game. Everyone's playing pretty well here today, actually. There we go. Substitutes come on then. Perea and uh, Bahusu. Bahusu. 
Bahosu. I need to know how to say it because he's got a 90 plus potential. So we need to be um, pretty good with him. He is a very, very good Ivory Coast central defensive midfielder. He's Ivory Coast, isn't he? I think he was Ivory Coast. I scouted a few places. Difficult to remember sometimes. Come on, lads. Keep a hold of this 1-0 win. That's what we need. Keep a hold of this 1-0. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good thing about this one is everyone's playing um, decently today, which hopefully means their form's going to go up, which means their progression will start to speed up as well. Oh, here we go. Run the back. There we go. There's the goal. It's Castro. Nice. That's what we needed. And that's got his form popped up quite a bit as well. Right, so that's 2-0 lead here. We're going to get a win. Lovely. Nice 2-0 win away from home against Swindon. That's what we needed. That's what we needed. Right then. Right, then we push forward. We've got um, a game at the end of the month. Dragomir's been loaned out. Okay, a bit more sharpness is in there now. Good. Um, yeah, so Dragomir going out means we've only got two CDMs in the squad now. We really have left a lot. We've let a lot of our players go out on loan. Um, so I need to bring a few more up from the academy, I feel, just to um, better help us um, have a stronger squad. So it's Charlton Athletic on the 27th. We're up into ninth position, which is not bad. Transfer offer for Montgomery. What's Montgomery? Ooh, from Real Madrid. Well, he's not on the transfer list, is he? No. Um, I'm going to reject because I, I don't want to lose Montgomery, to be honest. Real Madrid, though, it shows you just how good this guy's potential possibly is if Real Madrid are coming in sniffing for five million quid. There they are, Real Madrid. Hey, a transfer offer for Carvajal. Okay. Um, from Salzburg. Okay, so we know this guy hasn't got a potential above 80. He's almost hit his limit, so let's let him leave the club. And we can concentrate on players that we know have big futures with us. Right then, Charlton Athletic are upon us. Be a bit more of a trickier game, this Charlton one, I think. And I'm going to have a quick look at the office just to see how good some of these, or how old this guy is. He's not quite old enough yet. Apart from that, nobody else is really good enough yet to be brought up. Um, We still need to find out a lot more about them. It's just that one player, that CDM, I really want, because he's going to go straight into the first team squad. Uh, let's do the press conference as well to try and get the happiness up, because... So we need everything we can get at this point in time. Uh, we'll take some questions now. Yeah. And the lads are in great form. There we go. That's going to make them happy. Um, I'm happy with this group. Again, that's made them happy. Um, I think there's more to come. That makes them happy again. There we go. Well, that's been good. That's got the happiness up quite a bit, which hopefully will give them a stat boost to make them a little bit better. Players, is there still just Banks or is there anyone else? No, Morgan Banks on international duty. So this is going to be a tricky one for us now because we're going to lose Banks now for a few weeks. I mean, he's 89 rated now. 80 freaking 9 rated. Wow. Right then, Charlton Athletic. Right, what team are we going to go for here? I feel like Charlton's going to be a bit of a difficult team. Should we just go for the standard 4-4-2 um, diamond? Let's go the 4-4-2 diamond. Let's mix things up a little bit. Let's try and keep them guessing. Right, did they have anyone interesting? A couple of names rings a bell. Nothing amazing that I know of, though. All right, then here we go. Right. So 
So this is going to be a more tricky game. I feel like um, Charlton are probably one of the strongest sides. As they show by scoring a goal pretty early on. Here we go. We need to try and get this equaliser now. We don't want to... I mean, it'd be a good result here to get a draw, I think. Because... Oh, is that in? That looked like it was in to me. And this is some pretty good football, though. Banks is in. Movilla had the shot. I mean, apart from conceding the goal, we've actually looked pretty strong so far today. That's a good ball over the top to Banks. Cuts it in, and there's the equaliser scored by Keane. 1-1 after half an hour. That's good. That is good. I'm happy with that. Right, Banks, big ball over the top. Beautiful ball. Let's cut back. Banks himself. Oh, oh God. Almost 2 1 up there at half time. Almost. But again, we're seeing some good uh, play here today. And Bahasu, who's the uh, the CDM with a big potential, again playing a very good game, which is good because that means his form will increase and that means his um, speed of progression will increase. No, 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 no. Isn't that like a weird song? Ba 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 I don't know. I recognise it from somewhere. Either way, we are on the attack now. If we can turn this game around after losing, or after conceding in the um, the eighth minute, I'll be a very happy man. Come on, Banks. Yes, get in. 2-1. 2-1, we lead. This is a turnaround. This is really a turnaround. Can we hold on to it now or even add to it? That's a very poor ball to be given away there by Baldwin. That's a good bit of defensive work to get it back, though. And we're playing around the outside now. Banks tried to cut it in. Wasn't quite enough for Sembene. Sembeni on the ball now, though. Plays it back to Banks, who lost it. He lost it. Okay, let's make a couple of changes. Um, still some players that need a bit of a run around. Timmermans, you need to get your fitness. And um, Pereira, you need to get your fitness as well. I mean, we're getting there now, a match sharpness. It's taken a little bit longer than it should have done, really, to get to this sort of point. But um, players are looking good now. Guys, oh, yes. Banks has scored so many goals so far this season, you know. And there's a double change. Right down the outside he comes. Nice ball across. Go on, cut it back in. No. Not quite. Out, just punch the microphone. I do apologize. The big bang came through the microphone there. Uh, so after this game, by the way, I think we got a cup game after this. And then we should get all our youth scout and youth squad stuff back. Or I'm not sure if this is the last game. Then we have... I don't know. I can't remember now. I think, I think we might have a cup game before the end of the month. Pereira's not having a good time out there, is he? Dropped to a 5.8 now. What is he, number 31? Oh, he's picked it back up a bit now. And the ball goes out, and that's going to be enough for us to get the 3-1 win. This is a big victory for us, you know. 
A big victory. Uh, Charlton Athletic, no easy team. And after going 1-0 down, we're able to turn the game around and get that win to 3-1. That is a big result. Big, big result. Right, yes, there is a cup game first against Crawley Town. Uh, let's get some more sharpness on the go. Carvajal's been sold. Um, oh, Hurtado loan offer. No. No, I don't want to loan either of these two players. We want these two players, I think. I appreciate the um, the interest, but um, I want to keep those two men. Right, so again, let's get some of these match sharpnesses up. There you go, Pereira's up to a 53 now. It's back above the 50 mark. So it's Crawley Town first we have, and then... There, yeah, we should get the Scouts and the Youth Academy uh, reports back. Before the end of this video. Uh, transfer off for Boateng. Okay, that's good. That's one of the players we want to leave. Because he doesn't have a potential high enough for us. Right, so yeah, we have um, Crawley Town here then. Uh, Timmermans is unhappy. He thinks I'm going to replace him soon. Uh, which is probably correct with, but let's play him then. If he wants to, uh, if he wants to be played, let's play him. If you've got the balls to come to me and say you've got a problem, I will give you the opportunity to show what you can do. I don't know if Crawley is still in League Two. I think maybe. So we should be in a bit more of a dominant position now. Um, hopefully, anyway. I feel like we did play Crawley a couple of times last season. So we should be the stronger team in this one now. It should be a bit more of an easier win for us to, to push our way through to the next round of the EFL Trophy. So we were knocked out of the EFL Cup, which is the League Cup, aren't we? EFL Trophy is like the Johnson's Paint Trophy. Then we've got the FA Cup as well. So, I mean, again, I wouldn't be against it, but this is our last chance. Well, I'll say our last chance. This is me getting over the top that I'm going to get promoted here. But um, if we do get promoted, this will be our last chance to win the uh, the EFL Trophy. So it'd be nice to uh, have a decent run in it, just in case we don't get a chance again. Nice ball over the top. It's been cut out, though. Here we go. Oh, Banks again. I mean, we have got Mo Villa and Keane up front, which are... They're good players. They are good players, and they've both got big futures with us. But to be honest, they are no... Um, they are no uh, Hilton, are they, really? Hilton is a player we are suffering without. Get in the back of the net. Just to say that, Keane slams it home. Right, 1-0 up then after 29 minutes. And this is good. I mean, it gets our form up, which is what we need. Again, just to uh, build ourselves up. Get the progression working quickly again. Get that match sharpness in. Oh, good block. One thing we don't want to do is concede a goal just before half time. Right, here we go. Uh, final attack of the first half for us. We lost the ball. Not good. Come on, get it back, get it back, get it back. Yeah, it's not ideal to lose the ball there that early on, to be honest. There we go. Right, we're fine. 1-0 up at half-time. Um, we've had more possession, more shots, more chances. So we're in a better position. Right, here we go. Counter-attack is on. 
We could look to make some changes in the next few minutes. I feel, although we have got a couple of our weaker players on anyway with Tim and, uh, Timmermans and Morgans and players like that. But I think we do have a few players that need a bit of a run around as well. I said none of them are on the bench. Our Pereira is on the bench. So Pereira can come on in place of Banks. There we go. Banks have a bit of a rest. We're using him a lot at the moment. He's 89 rated. Has anybody seen somebody who hasn't cheated on this game? I stress that I've not cheated at all on this game. An 89 rated player in League One. It's unheard of. I've never seen anything like it on any other career mode online before. Right. Big ball forward. It's a block. It means it's a corner. Oh. I thought that was in then, you know. Good defence, that. Who was that? That was Kobanan with a great block. Of course, remember that Kobanan, Barbosa and Baldwin all have 90 plus potentials. Our defence is looking incredible for the future. Here's the counter-attack on... Perea got caught, but he did manage to get the free kick out of it. Ball into the middle. It's still only 1-0 here. We need to make sure that we can hold on to this lead. Good ball by Perea in. Ooh. Yeah, I will be changing the squad numbers as well. When we get to the end of the transfer window and we've cleaned the squad out a little bit, I'm going to do all the squad numbers for this season. Go on. Oh, offside. You do hear a disgusting, like, squidging noise, by the way. My cat is laying on the on the desk next to the computer having a wash. And yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry I called you disgusting. I'm sorry. You're very beautiful. Anyway, 2-0. Movilla with a goal. Obviously, cat talk is exactly what our team needs to... Get better and stronger, and there we go. 2-0 victory over Crawley Town. And again, another chance for some of our younger players. Well, everyone on our team is a younger player, aren't they, I suppose? For some of our more second-string players have a bit of a run-around. So I don't think there's any players that we want to loan out anymore. Um, I think there's just a couple of players we've got to sell. Uh, Boateng, we're already in the process of doing so. There's also Brandt and somebody else, I think, in there. The... Um, the Albanian guy as well. There you go. Boateng's gone. Uh, Hunter's not going anywhere. He's got a good potential with us, he has. Yeah, it's an Albanian midfielder. And there's another guy as well. Both with good potentials. And both with terrible potentials, let's say, sorry. Another offer for Hunter. Hunter's um, someone that a lot of people are interested in at this point in time. It looks like we're going to see the end of the window, though, with nothing more else happening. Well, at least we've only got two players in our squad we don't want, then. Everyone else in our squad are players we want. Then again, there's more going on here. Is it one of the players we want to get rid of? No, it's Barbosa. Again, not happening. Not happening. Uh, so I think that's going to be it now for us then. By the looks of it. Um, nope, he's not up for loan either. Garvish is going to be one of our... Oh, he's gone to a 61 already, Garvish. He's going to be a, a good player for us. He's got an 85 plus potential as well. The young Ukrainian left back and centre back. And there we go, the end of the window. Okay, so we've ended up with a couple of players we don't necessarily want, but apart from that, we are in a good position. Let's check out the monthly squad update. Or for the youth squad, shall I say. Okay, so we've got a couple that have dropped out. Um, you are no longer uh, good enough, and you are no longer good enough. I don't think either Raymond or Valentine are going to be good enough either, to be honest. But um, we're about to get three five-star, five-star scouts back. 
Um, so let's go into that now, and we'll finish off the video. We're filling up our academy, hopefully, with some absolutely incredible players. Um, so I do want to play... Um, I'll think about it. Um, so he wants to play the next game. I'll have to remember that. For some reason, I've just gone deaf in one ear. That's not very good. Right, here we go. Right, you are in Hungary. I'm hungry for good players. Please find me a couple. Come on, we've had such bad scouts over the last couple of months. I need something good, and this is not. This is not that. Right, continue scouting you. Okay, next. You, okay. Right, this is better. Yimi Lahtinen. 76 to 94 goalkeeper. Okay, you need a bit more scouting, I think, but I don't think you're going to be good enough. So we got one good goalkeeper so far. That's it from two five-star, five-star scouts. And the third one. Come on, Smirnov. We need to make big. We need to make big. I want Wuhan Wu. Nope. Lichi. Nope. Okay. Yang Gao Tian is decent potential. We've got two players. Three five-star, five-star scouts and two decent players. I am not happy. I mean, at the moment... Scout-wise, are not looking good. I'm not happy at all. He's a right-back. Uh, so we've got a right-back, um, 49 rated at the moment, 70 to 94. So let's get you straight in with a bit of defensive wide-back training. And the other one was a goalkeeper. Another good goalkeeper. We, we do need some good goalkeepers, so it's handy to have another one. Okay. So, nothing special at the moment. We do need this guy to turn 16. One thing they do need to add to this game is a date of birth. So, I can see when his 16th birthday actually is. That would be nice. Um, but, yeah, we'll leave it there for now then. I uh, hope you have enjoyed. Of course, if you have, slap a like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. We'll come back next time. Um, we'll have a game then. Let me just put the right squad down. Uh, this one. Uh, we've got the game coming up against um, Crew Alexandra in the league. And it looks like, of course, Banks is going to be out on international duty. So it might be a bit more tricky for us the next couple of games. But either way, I'm going to love you and leave you and see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.